But the current leader of the Nation of Islam, Louis Farrakhan, has long been suspected as the instigator, the behind-the-scenes force who triggered the killing. Malcolm's late widow believed that, as do his children to this day. I did not know if I wanted to sit across from him. I didn't know if my heart could handle it. Didn't know if she could sit with a man she still holds responsible for her father's death. Confronting Minister Farrakhan would not be easy, and for strength, she told us, she summoned the memory of her parents. Before I came here, I prayed and included my parents. They had to walk with me to the airport. They had to get me out of that hotel and into the property here. You see, Adela Shabazz was there in the Audubon Ballroom in 1965 in New York. Miss Shabazz, for several months, I carried the picture of your father with all of these bullet holes in his chest. Miss Shabazz, for several months, I carried the picture of your father with all of these bullet holes in his chest.